Live from HBFO Channel 6, Bloke in a Pub, Matthew Mills, Higgs Boson Family, you stay classy. Well, hello, and this is the five year mission that is Bloke in a Pub, and you are boldly going with me, Matthew Mills. And we had a, a couple of questions from, uh, from clients and from viewers uh, over the last couple of weeks who have asked. How is it in the middle of uh, a global pandemic and uh, the attendant economic downturn that my investments have gone up and in some cases gone up by more than double digits compared to this time last year? Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm, I'm immediately going to just put to one side the immediate answer, which is excellent fund management. Uh, but I'm uh, just going to indulge myself for a moment there and just, just enjoy the moment. Um, uh, actually, what it comes down to is the, the, the portfolios and their asset allocation, the mix of securities that we buy, uh, has been driven by uh, fundamental market markers that we would see in the economy. Um, uh, specifically, for example, uh, in the last two years, we have seen in the developed markets, um, we've been heading towards full employment and pay rises, which usually presage a downturn. So we started to position the portfolios about two years ago expecting that to happen. We put in a number of defensive strategies in place and we did a, a broadcast particularly on negative beta strategies and we did another one on um, the use of government bonds or gilt in a portfolio. The idea being that if equity markets, stock markets get a bit panicky, the money looks for somewhere to run away to and if you're in the right place, you can pick up growth as the money floods in there and puts up demand for those assets. Now that's exactly what happened in April as the world took leave of its senses and thought that the whole world was going to shut down forever and markets tanked by about 30%. And what that meant was we were, we were able to mitigate at least half of that. Uh, the important point being it gave us a, a higher baseline and made it easier to, there, to recover from that point. Now after that is the fact that stock markets are not just homogenous, they're a, they're a headline figure. And within there, there will there'll be hundreds of companies, some which will not do very well as a result of COVID. So for example, um, if you run a, a nail boutique or a hairdresser's, now's not a great time for you because you can't do anything the same way if you run hospitality. If, on the other hand, you are a fledgling internet uh, technology company that provided secure and safe virtual meetings, uh, and I'm not going to mention their name, but it's, it's very similar to Whoosh. I know, Kung Fu, CPR and the BG. Um, you'd have done extremely well as the whole world started to use your application. And so there were bits of the stock market that went down and there were other bits that went up. And we've always employed equity fund managers who have the widest possible decision latitude to chase returns for us. And they positioned to buy those assets uh, which allowed us to, to, to benefit from them as, as they grew. The, the final point is that over the last 10 years or so, um, more and more money has gone into what are called index tracker or passive funds. And this is where a fund manager replicates the shares and their proportions in an index, like for example, the, the FTSE 100 or 200 or the NASDAQ or the S&P 500, and just tracks that allocation passively. So not actively picking stocks and waiting which ones they're going to buy over others. Now, what that means is that as a stock comes into an index, all of those passive index fund managers have to buy it. And that puts up demand and pushes their prices up even higher. So if you were a fledgling tech company that provides internet um, uh, safe and secure uh, uh, virtual meetings, and you suddenly came into an index, you have huge swathes of money chasing after your share, massively pushing your prices up. Uh, and we also benefited from that this year. Um, so overall, what's happened is we mitigated a lot of the downturn with some defensive strategies that were actively put in place. And our, our active stock picking from our fund managers has allowed us to benefit from upturn in certain sectors of the market. Um, what does that mean for us going forward? Well, the big game changer here is hopefully, fingers crossed, going to be the vaccine and then as a result of us all being uh, highly resistant to, to COVID going forward, the world reopens and we start buying things that we, we haven't been able to in the past. So for example, I see my vaccine as a boarding pass to a direct flight to the Maldives, um, which means I'm not alone in that. Other people will be buying airline tickets and holidays, which means that uh, companies other than those 
providing access to virtual meetings like holiday companies, travel companies and airlines may start to benefit. So we'll see a rotation of money out of some sectors into others and again because we have fund managers who have complete decision latitude they will be able to follow that uh, and if there is genuine pent-up demand from the fact we've all been sitting at home not spending our money just waiting for the opportunity to jump on that plane to the Maldives hopefully not the island I'm going to thank you um, then we, we should see a massive uptick in stock markets and although you should never predict what's going to happen should that be the case should the vaccine go well this looks like it could be an extremely good year for stocks and shares. Uh, so a little bit of good news uh, in the middle of a lockdown and a bit of an explanation for what's actually been going on because it has been a little bit unusual. Um, and on that note, more next time.